It's been a while, so uh, we'll go through the whole thing. The Horde. The Horde. The Horde. The Horde. Yep. The Horde. The Horde. The Horde. The Horde. The Horde. The Horde. Okay, all right. Here we go. Let's get this out of the way. Hello and welcome to the tenth part of the Who Wants to Be the Ultimate Wow Nickbeard quiz series. Okay. This episode is themed around the Horde. Good. If you already know how to play the game, then click on the link in the video description below to start the show. If uh, not, I'll let you guys please see move the on to second, this okay. part of the video where I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how to play the game. There are two pseudo modes you can play in. The two modes are Studio Mode and Standard Mode. There is no button you need to click on to choose one of these modes. It is simply a way on how you can approach the quiz. In Studio Mode, you are allowed access to two extra lifelines in addition to a 50-50 lifeline, phone streamer a friend and friendly. ask the audience, or chat if you are a streamer. Yep, Studio mode is for players with people watching them and want to include them in the game. Phone a friend lets you ask one of your selected friends or colleagues for help with a question. Yep. Ask the audience, or chat if you're a streamer, lets you ask your audience or chat for help by letting them vote for what they think is the correct answer. Okay. For this, I recommend using a straw poll. Standard mode is for Made players who are alone exactly. and friendless in the cold emptiness of their parents' social life. In other words, Neckers. you're the only one playing it in the comfort of your home or on your phone in a bus, whatever. If yep. you're the kind of person I've just described, then standard mode is for you. It's like studio mode, except you've only got access to a 50-50 lifeline. Consider this an opportunity to face a greater challenge. Now listen. Okay. The point of the game is to answer all 15 questions correctly without a single mistake. Originally, if you fail, it is over. But I am not stupid and I need views, so I want you to focus on getting all 15 questions right. No mistakes, no cheating. However, in the event that you get a question wrong, you can continue to play the game and instead simply start counting how many questions you've gotten right and how many That's you've just gotten what makes wrong. Sense. Now, yeah. you might be new to this game and have no idea what is of going course. on. Let me give you a quick rundown of how it works. The WoW yeah. Neckbeard Quiz series is a game that consists of 15 questions which, in ascending order, increase in difficulty. Questions are themed around all things Warcraft, lore, gameplay, PvE, PvP, geography, etc, 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 all of which are influenced by a certain theme. In this particular episode, all questions are themed around the Horde faction. Each Alright, I think we know what's going on. Is it time? Are we ready? Let's do it. New Bellior video? We might watch the Bellior video after this. It depends on how long it is. Okay, if it's about the Hong Kong thing, I might watch it. Start the quiz. Here we go. <coughs> all right, it's time to make Thrall proud. 15 questions. Answer all of them correctly, and you've got it. Good luck. <laughs> Which of these activities would you likely find an orcish peon doing? A. Professional singing. No. B. Drawing battle plans. Probably, yes. C. Fighting on the front lines. D. Manual labor. Uh, if you were me back in, uh, in 2003, you'd probably have them at C because I was an idiot and I just sent the peons in for no reason. We're gonna go with D though. Have you ever heard a peon singing? Me neither. It's D. Okay. Good. Easy. Easy. In Orcish, the language of the orcs, as well as the main language of the horde, what is the meaning of the phrase Loktar Ogar? Victory or death? A. Ready for orders. No. B. Blood and thunder. No. C. Victory or death? No. D. I obey war chief. I obey war chief. That, that's what it would be called if Sylvanas was the fucking war chief. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, it's obviously C. Victory or death? 
Easy, easy, There are easy, many easy. ways to know if you take orcs seriously. But Simple. it's not choosing B, it is C. Yep. Simple question. What was the name of the pit lord whose blood bound the majority of the orcish race to his will and later died at the hands of Grom Hellscream? Ragnaros. A. Agonar. B. Mactheridon. C. Manoroth. D. Asgalor. Agonar is a pit lord that was in Argus, and uh, you had to fight him in the quest line at the very beginning, and then also the bones of Agonar are in the uh, Hellfire Peninsula in the Burning Crusade expansion, and there's a quest follow-up to have you kill his son. Magtheridon obviously was defeated by Illidan and Lady Vosh and Kael'thas in Warcraft 3, and is imprisoned inside of there. Asgore is another pit lord who is one of the different lieutenants of the Burning Legion, who is also one of the bosses inside the Battle of Mount Hydral Raid. And Manroth is the correct answer. Obviously, it is Asgalore, said the guy who lost the quiz. In truth, Big dumb it is idiot, Manroth. Yeah. C. There it is. Trash Mom NHFC. Yeah. In which of these zones stands an orcish settlement named directly Thralmar. after Thrall? A. Hellfire Peninsula. Yep. B. Dragonblight. C. Ashenvale. D. Badlands. A. Hellfire Peninsula. The name of this settlement is Thralmar, located in Hellfire Peninsula. Boom! Oh, there it is, dude! Easy. By which means did Overlord Krumgar die at the hands of then war chief he threw him off a cliff. as punishment for exercising dishonorable tactics in Stone you Dishonor the Hordes. A. Hanging. Nope. B. Beheading. Nope. C. Crushed Skull. D. D. Fall from Height. Too much fall damage. He should have heroic leaped. He would have been fine or charged the mob down below. We're gonna go with the big old fat fucking D. This is a quest line added in Cataclysm. Krumgar was an orc whose military ethics put him on the edge. So Garrosh yep. decided to throw him off the edge. It is D. Hi, fuck him. Easy questions, guys. Very easy questions. Speaking of edges, here's something to give you an edge for the next 10 questions. Lo and behold. Oh! But be warned, using this 50-50 lifeline more than once throughout the game is against the rules. The same goes for the other okay. two lifelines if you're playing studio mode. Of There's course. only one way to find out if uh, you're a fair knows player I or a cheater, and that is by moving on to question six. I never cheat. There exists a quest where a Hortside player character briefly takes on Post the role Foothills. of a quest giver themselves. In which zone may this quest Post be? Foothills and also the three people that come up to you is this one guy, his name is Dumbass, and then another guy who is a orc warrior that dies later on in the quest line, and he's riding, he's, he's wearing a full set of tier 10 elite armor from ICC 25-man Heroic, and he's riding on a Frostbrood Vanquisher, and then the third guy is Johnny Awesome, who's a Blood Elf Paladin, who's riding on a uh, Spectral Tiger. Yeah, we're found. A. Stone Talon Mountains. B. Hillsbrad Foothills. C. Western Plaguelands. D. Thousand Needles. It's Hillsbrad. Easy, 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 easy. The easiest of easiest. Was it Celestial Steed? Really? What there is a quest like Liger? that in the western side huh. of the Hillsbrad foothills. Yep, that's okay. it, all right. Okay, okay, dude. The term Moknathal refers to what? A. Battle cry. B. Warrior's death. C. Beastmasters. D. Half orc, half ogre clan. I think it's D. I'm pretty sure it's D. I'm like 90% sure it's D. 
gonna go with D. One of the earliest mentions of the term Mokmathal came from a beast master whose name was Rexar, a half orc, half ogre. ogre. Dude. Dude, there is, dude, there is, dude. Yes. Easy game. Easy fucking game. The name Orgrim's Hammer pertains to a vehicle with tremendous siege power. What type of vehicle is it? A. Naval Vessel B. Ground Vehicle C. Aircraft It's aircraft. D. Underground Vehicle Damn, man, I'm... I think it's C. I think Orgrim's Hammer is a boat that's related somewhere in Wrath of the Lich King. I think. What's confusing me is I think it might be one of the boats that you can get in the, the shipyard in Wad. But nobody played Wad, so he probably doesn't even know that. So we're going to go with C. These are the things named after Orgrim Tombhammer, a capital city, Orgrimmar, former internment camp turned into a horde base, Hammerfall, and Orgrim's Hammer, a flying battleship, C. Okay, that was a tough one. Morgor, then leader of the Dragon Maul clan, makes a blatant pop culture reference throughout the early stages of the Horde's questline in the Twilight Highlands, referencing which movie? A. Gladiator B. Lord of the Rings C. Pirates of the Caribbean D. 300 I'm gonna go with Gladiator. I, 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 I don't know. Like, I, I really have no idea. You guys are telling me all a bunch of random shit. Hey, I'm going with Gladiator. Four answers for the contestant under the sky. One for the neckbeard in his room of litter and rot. You guys want me to do 50-50? Before, before it's it too me. late. No, I didn't say it yet. Tell me Dude, to it's too late. You picked it. I'll do 50 50, okay? You're cheating. No, it's how's that cheating? I didn't even click on it. Like, it was your final answer, man. Yeah, I would have picked the same one. I picked A. Four answers for the contestant under the sky. One for the neckbeard in his room of litter and rot. Three for mortal men doomed to lose. Wait, 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 that's not it. What is it then? What is oh, of this? Of course, this is madness. It's 300. Shit. Shit. <laughs> that's it. Well, I never knew that because whenever I got to 84, I just farmed stone core. I never did those quests and I have no idea. Well, you weren't horde anyway, were you? I knew a lot of the other ones. I mean, I've done the Four quests and all. answers for the contestant under the sky. Right, that's one wrong. One for the neckbeard. Yeah, it's one wrong, guys, okay? 
like a fucking we own. For Shut up. Men doomed to lose. Wait, 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 that's not it. What is it then? Oh, of course, this is madness. It's 300. Okay. Here we go. In numerical order, which race was the second to ally themselves with Thrall's Trolls? horde, later becoming official members of the faction? A. Trolls. It's Trolls. B. Sure Tauren. C. Ogres. D. Undead. I don't know. It's been so long, I don't remember. You guys say Tauren? Like, I don't remember. Consider this the lifeline for asking the chat. Yeah. I, I, th I think that's what makes sense. If someone else was to answer this question and if that someone was my chat. chose B then he'd win all right there we go all right great good job guys great fucking job proud of you I knew you could do it five more to go okay here we go good luck <laughs> What is the name of the voice actress who lends her voice to Sylvanas Windrunner in World of Warcraft? Oh, of course, I'll know this one. A. Patty Matson. B. Piera Coppola. C. Vanessa Marshall. D. Glynis Tolkien Campbell. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I have no fucking idea. Like, I, 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 I have no idea. What do you want me to click? I, I I don't. Patty or Vanessa? Patty sounds like a fucking Sylvanas name. I, I I don't know. The person who thought voice who I thought voice Sylvanas isn't in the multiple choice. <laughs> They're not even in the top four. Like, I, I, I don't know, dude. I, I have no idea. I'll just go with A. I have no fucking clue. Like... The meaning of this name, in Latin, stands for noble woman. Okay, here we go. According to other sources, it also signifies patience. It's Patty Matson. Alright, I'll be right back. Uh, just give me a second. I gotta take a piss. Okay, guys, we're ready? Yeah, we're good. <sighs> Who or what is Serathil? It's an axe. A. Blood Elf Sword. B. Blood Elf Ranger. C. Orcish Axe. Oh, there it is, see? D. Ancient Tauren Ritual. We're looking at a word with a suffix that is commonly implied to elven concepts, which is strange, isn't it? Considering it's an Orcish Axe that we're dealing with amidst the four possible answers. Oh, Nevertheless, man. The correct answer is the Torrent's best green friend 
orc, orcish acts. Okay, okay, all right, that was, that was stressful, man. That was really fucking stressful. Like, what, it, that was way too much. Holy fuck, dude. In which settlement may be found a horde aligned ogre whose name, spelled backwards, <coughs> reads Blizzard? A. Stone Mall Hold. B. Brackenwall Village. C. Stonebreaker Hold. D. Booty Bay. Wow. Dude, you can still ask me, I think. All right, what is it, Connor? Booty Bay. <sighs> Judging by your choice, I will tell you that the correct answer is... Can we not? Sprackenwall Village. I would have picked that, dude! I would have picked that 100%, man! Oh, would you? 100% because Sprackenwall, but isn't that that weird fucking, like, some random-ass troll place? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? I should have known that. Yeah. Fuck, man. Judging by your choice, I will tell you that the correct answer is... <coughs> Sprackenwall Village. Throughout the Gronk, the Jungle Lord, boss encounter in the Battle of Dazar Alor, adds named Aptagonizers who attempt to fill up Gronk's rage bar throughout the raid encounter have which number in their name? A. 3000 B. 4000 C. 2000 D. 5000 5000. We're gonna go with 5000. the best part about this. If I say you have lost, you're not going to believe me because you know I like to protract these moments. And then we'll all find out that the outcome is entirely different from all the other two or five outcomes I've said but lied about. Okay. And okay. since I've already spent some time talking, it's prime time for me to tell you that the correct answer is exactly the one that you have not selected. Okay, all right, final question. Here we go. Here's the best part about this. If I say you have lost, you're not going to believe me because you know I like it's to protract bullshit. these moments. Fucking and then we'll bullshit. all find out that the outcome is entirely pissed. different from all the other two or five outcomes I've said but lied about. And since I've already spent some time talking, it's prime time for me to tell you that the correct answer is exactly the one that you have selected. Wait! I was thinking about the fight! This is a horde only version and the boss is different for horde. So I never even have seen these mobs because I never did fucking Battle of the Zara Laura's horde. I I because I, I was thinking I thought they were like death chancers or some kind of shit, right? I was so confused. 
Yeah, it's a horrid quest. No, it's a horrid quest. No, you're right. I didn't. Okay, here we go. Last one. As both Sarfangs like to say, let it be finished. Here we go, guys. The name of which race was used in a troll mail slash joke voice emote, which was removed from the game, supposedly due to its reference to drug usage. I know this one whenever I see it. A. Blood Elves B. Gnomes C. Dwarfs D. Torrent. Torrent. Listen, listen. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The audience are on the edge of their seats, nibbling their nails in anticipation. Now we shall discover if you have made the right choice. You have chosen the correct answer once or twice before throughout this quiz, I'm sure. But for this question, the final question, it is wrong me to have believed that someone like you would lose on this question because the correct answer is a really tough one to guess. Dwarves. I smoke two dwarves in the morning. You never heard that fucking song thing? <laughs> oh well, better luck next time. This was the Horde edition of the WoW Nickbeard quiz series. I hope you have enjoyed it. No. And guess what? If you love Dude, the quiz a lot, you can share that love even further by supporting me. It's easy. You can See, follow I and watch me on Twitch for live streaming. I mean, it's not like you've got anything better to do anyway. Or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel too. Or you can join our Discord server for updates and to stay in touch with me. <coughs> next up, the WoW Nickbeard quiz classic WoW edition. It's not oh wow! Channel, then obviously it means That'll be awesome, friends. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, that'd be great.